I'm sorry it wasn't that well formed, but obviously Cam just disappointing tonight, getting replaced again. Maybe just share a little bit of what you're feeling, and I don't know if it's the right time to ask, but if you think you'll start next week's game, if you want to, just where your head's at. Yeah, it's disappointing. Uh, but, you know, I'm just doing what I'm asked to do, I'm trying to be the best player for this team that I can possibly be. And um, that's what it is. Next question, Matt Vitor, followed by Henry McKenna. Cam, are the, are the struggles, does it feel like different from game to game? Or does it feel to you like there's some there's a, th a thread that sort of connects the struggles from, from, from one week to the next? And, and has it been hard to figure out how to, how to reverse that? I don't understand your question, sir. When you... You've had you've had some some uh, some struggles throwing the ball over a period of, of weeks. Is it something that the Bills did specifically tonight, or has it been something that you've struggled with over the course of of the season? Is it is it the same thing that you're struggling with, or has it been different from week to week? Uh, I'm just trying to do and be the best player that I could possibly be for this team, and that's what it is. It's nothing that another opposing team is doing. Um, but I'll be the first to say that I need to get better, and it starts with practice. Next question, Henry McKenna, followed by Dan Roach. Hey, Kim. Um, you recently said you feel like you're, you're still on a job interview here. Um, how do you feel like you're doing? Do you feel like you've done enough to, to prove to the Patriots that, you know, you deserve the job, not just in week 17, but, but in 2021. And, and do you feel like on a bigger scale, you've done enough to prove that to the league in general with the contract expiring? No, I don't care about no contract. I just want to win. So I guess I'll narrow the question down a little bit. Um, do you feel like you've done a good job in, in this job interview this year? That's not for me to answer. Okay, thank you. Next question, Dan Roach, followed by Ben Volan. Hi, <clears throat> Cam. You've talked a, a lot about, obviously, it's about winning. Um, how much frustration, disappointment, anger do you have right now with the fact that you can't go out and, and as an offense, produce and do what you guys – maybe did earlier in the season and get it done now. How difficult has it been on you personally, emotionally, as you go through this? It can't be easy for what you've been through in your NFL career. It's extremely frustrating knowing what you're capable of, having belief in yourself, uh, but it's just not, you know, showing uh, when it counts the most. Two final questions, Ben Volan and Doug Kide. Hey, Cam, uh, on the broadcast, they showed a graphic stating your daily schedule, and it said you wake up at 4.20 in the morning and you're out of the house in 10 minutes. You don't go to sleep till 11.30 at night. Is that your normal schedule for the day? That's been my schedule for 90% of the time that I've been here. So you can kind of understand the frustration that I do have when I don't have the outcome because I'm sacrificing so much. You're talking to a person who ain't seen his kids in three months, Obviously, the contract is what it is. Uh, submitting myself to this team is something that I've been doing since day one. Uh, being accessible. Um, and yeah, it's, it's, it's frustrating. It, it makes you mad, it makes you angry. Knowing that to be a trusted teammate, you know, you first have to submit to authority and submit to what, what the coaches are asking you to do. And I feel like I have done that. And. I, I don't I don't I'm not in the, the place to blame or the place to I'm just more or less venting right now because yeah I've sacrificed so much this year and I mean it is it, it, it hurts you know when you when you have the, the outing that you have tonight and just to go home and then start it over for a whole nother week um yeah 
Cam, uh, Bill Belichick has really stood by you all season. He, he's let you start every game. He's been singing your praises up and down. Uh, even tonight, they, you know, they were asked. He was asked why he benched you, and he said he said it was a combination of things. And he he was again defending you. What does it mean for you to have Belichick consistently standing up for you? And did you expect that? Uh, I mean, I think the the feeling is mutual. Now, I'd be the first person to tell you that I do need to play better. But at the same time, you know, it's just things that if I'm asked to do something, that's what I'm going to do. I've never been a person to be controversial in a locker room, contrary to any other person's belief. Uh, I try to be the best teammate I can possibly be, and that's what I will continually to do. Uh, I will keep getting better each and every week, getting more comfortable in this offense uh, for the last week that I possibly can. And, you know, let's see where it gets me. The last question, Doug Kai. Cam, uh, more on the, that daily schedule, have you always been a person who, who doesn't need a, a lot of sleep? Yeah, I, 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 that's always been an issue of mine. Um, but it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? I mean, obviously it ain't the sleep, you know, because of the success. Um, yeah. And uh, going back to what Ben was kind of asking you, Bill said that you did a good job for the Patriots tonight and that, that you weren't the problem. Um, would you, uh, I guess, agree with that assessment from Bill? No, I wouldn't say that. I, I would say, you know, any time, yeah, I'll put it like this, you don't get pulled out just because you're having a, a stand-up game. i can tell you that. I'll be the first person to say that. There are some things that I feel like I could have done better. Um, but... You know, what my standard is for myself is never to, you know, just blend in and, and, and just be the status quo. Um, there's some plays that need to have been made on my part that I feel like I could have done better a job at doing. And you just have to review the film and, and, and get back to it, you know. So, you know, as a signal caller, as a person who is a dynamic player on this team, you know, you, you, I, I need to impact the game more. And it just didn't happen tonight. Jared Sidham was asked um, if he'd like to play a full game next week. And he said that, you know, obviously every player wants to play as much as possible. He would love the opportunity to play. So w would you also like to you know, play a full game next week? I'm not about to get into no back and forth with nobody. Um, like I say, my job is to be the best team that I could possibly be, be the best player that I could possibly be for this team. And that's what I'm going to continue to do. Thank you, Cam. Thanks, everyone.